frightening scene in a movie theater in San Diego. Another shooting just six months after the tragedy in Colorado, but this time it was the police doing the shooting. I heard two shots and I went to the floor. The audience at the San Diego movie theater were there to see Les Miserables. Shoot him out! Shoot him out! But instead, an intense real-life police standoff played out before their eyes. We all got on the floor and then started heading for the exit. The dramatic ordeal began at 2.10 in the afternoon at a nearby Marie Callender's restaurant. A man with a history of domestic violence attempted to abduct his girlfriend at gunpoint. She escaped and called the police, and then the hunt began. At this point, he was armed with what's described as a handgun. 20 minutes later, half a mile away, a matinee for Les Mis was set to begin. The gunman managed to slip into the audience, hiding among unknowing film goers in plain sight. But with the entire shopping complex on lockdown, the projector stopped, the lights came on, and at 3.50 p.m., police entered theater number nine. They checked the back door and it was locked. But they didn't talk to us, so I knew that wasn't a good sign. The police officers zeroed in on the suspect. Begins to show his hands a second time. This time he's armed with a handgun. And then chaos. The shot started and when we all hit the floor and then ran for the exit. Police shot and wounded the suspect and detained him. Remarkably, no one else was injured. And the 20-year-old suspect has been hospitalized with gunshot wounds to the arm and chest.